I'm back to do a reading for my beautiful Geminis. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. Let your friends help you. First card out. I'm hearing that this battle is not yours. Okay. I'm hearing this battle is not yours. Um, you could be someone that's used to doing things on your own all the time. Um, you could not be used to, you know, um, depending on the one or, or get any type of help. But Spirit is saying it's okay. It's okay if you need help right now. It's okay if you need somebody to lean on. Okay. Whatever you're going through, um, mirroring, just know that God just want to use you at this time. Okay. For, for others, um, you might need it to lean on people at this time. For others, this could be letting your angels and God assist you right now and trust in the process, okay? I'm hearing keep smiling, hold your head up. Yeah, trust. Trust that everything is going to be okay. We got separation under the bottom. Okay. So your person could be um this could be your energy or your person energy, okay? Somebody is being used as a vessel for God. Okay, so I see with the separation card and flirt, um Spirit is, uh, I'm picking up on, okay, someone that you've been in separation from right now. Um, this person wants to come towards you, but this person doesn't know how to. This person could definitely be seeking out help. It could be from friends, or it could be, this person could be asking, um, asking God for help, asking the angels for help, okay? This person is asking, um, asking or um, getting some type of assistance from someone. You know how to move forward with you guys. You guys have been in separation for a while, or just no contact, has been no contact. Give me some more Holy Spirit. Um, this person uh, may not have the most strength at this time, but Spirit is saying um, the battle is not theirs. Yeah, wedding. Okay. Make the effort. Okay. Past life relationship. Reconciliation. Okay. So right now, Spirit is saying it's not, this person needs to be bold. Okay. Somebody needs to make the, uh, the first um, effort. This person could be going through a lot at this time. Okay. Um, maybe this person is not um, used to, um, you know, having anyone in their corner. But spirit is definitely, um, I feel like spirit is sending somebody. <sighs> Thank you, I feel like spirit is um, sending someone in your corner to help assist you in this person. Okay. Somebody has to make the effort. Somebody has to be bold and make the first move. With this wedding and past life and reconciliation, somebody sees you as marriage material, okay? Somebody wants your trust again. This person is definitely seeking out help from, um, like I said, friends. It could be the angels. Or this could be, they could be asking for help from somebody, you know, who could have raised them, a mother figure. Somebody who they have known since they was a very young child. Also, it could be a sister, Oh, this could be a sibling of these. Somebody is asking for help. Okay? So you know whoever your person was close to, who they considered, um, who they valued their opinion. Okay? When it came to asking to, um, for advice. Whoever this person is, they trust this person a lot. Okay? And I feel like whoever the, um, they asking advice from, this person is telling them whether it's the angels or whoever the, pre the people that I see in this um, card, somebody is saying, like, reconcile, you know? I, 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 this person is giving this person an okay, like, yeah, you need, to, you need to make the move, okay? If you feel like this about this person, marry this person, okay? Whoever this person is, you have known, um, you have known each other before. Spirit, give me some more messages. Please, thank you. I feel like this person is going through something right now. Okay. Let's 
Somebody is being sent. Somebody is being sent. Whoever, the, whoever your mother is, yeah, deny you spiritual blessing and addiction, okay? With different pages. I feel like you and this person, um, this person could have been very codependent in the past. You could have found out about some addictions that this person had. But I feel like whoever this person is, um, they are going through some type of spiritual lesson. Maybe they was in denial before. Maybe this person didn't want to accept, um, you know, ex accept change. Maybe this person doesn't like change very much. Okay, but spirit is definitely um, forcing this person to go within and change something. And I feel like within that time while they're going, going within, this person is learning a lot of lessons. And this person is also thinking about you. This person is thinking about how, you know, they could have possibly ruined things with you. This person wants to come back and reconcile. This person feels like if they, um, if they make this effort this time and they get your trust again, they are going to want a, a marriage with you. Somebody sees you as someone that they can be with long term. This person is asking for help and assistance because this person, this person doesn't. For some of you guys, this person feels like you're completely done. Okay, different pages. Okay, here and now, your true love is already, your true love is already a part of your life. Support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. This person is asking for advice. Okay. I'm strongly picking up on someone who could have been a mother figure or it could be a sibling of these, okay? They value their opinion. Because if you look at how this this woman is, is looking at this lady. Like, she just like, I the, this lady right here just like, I know you love this person, you know? I know how you feel about them. Just go do it. Just go do it. Make the effort. She looking like she's paying attention to everything that's coming out of this woman's mouth. Somebody trying to figure out how they could gain your trust again. And the support is lean on your um lean on your inner circle during this time. You have two cards of this person is trying to um, you know, this person will try to get support and help from other people. Cause somebody just feel like they don't know how to come at you this time. With the different pages, they just feel like you guys are on different pages, okay? They feel like you're done with them. But somebody has some type of um, addiction, okay, where they had to learn some type of spiritual lesson. I feel like this person was codependent on something that they had to release, okay? But this person is your true love, is what they're saying. They're already a part of your life. Yeah, we can't make it up. We have true love. The love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. We have release, interference. So it could have definitely been a, you could have found out about a third party situation and you could have definitely walked away from this person or this person could have released a third party situation and now be asking help for, um, asking help from others how to come back to you and reconcile because of an interference that was done in the past. Yeah, they regret it as well. Someone regrets. Yeah. They felt like the, uh, hmm. The timing is not quite right. Somebody just felt, yeah, obstacles. Yeah, the timing before, it wasn't right. It just wasn't right for you guys to come into union. Okay, this person had a lot of unhealed wounds that was blocking for a moment. Okay, this person needed to heal. That's what I'm saying. It was some type of codependency that this person um, was fighting. Okay? And it was um, it was affecting this, this union. But within time apart, I feel like this person learned a lot. They went through some type of spiritual lesson. This person was in denial about this connection before. Yeah, they had to heal. They had to heal old wound childhood issues. Okay? They had to heal from old past traumas. Things that happened in the past. A lot of you guys could be a twin flame. But something needed to be balanced out. <clears throat> This person had to accomplish something in a past life before they could before they could come to you and get to this next level. They did. They had to do something. They had to take care of something from their past. Childhood wounds, trauma, codependency, whatever addictions that was for them. Whatever obstacles they was for them. Thank you, Spirit. They had to heal that. 
I just seen the Page of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like um, with this Page of Cups, something happened when they was a child. And they had, to, they had to go with it and do that. With the Nine of Pentacles by themselves, okay? By themselves. Yeah, Seven of Wands and Page of Cups. This person could have been very um, guarded since a very young age. I feel like they wasn't allowing love in because of something that happened to them. But with the Seven of Wands and Justice, things are going to be made fair. Someone that wants to come in and balance things out with you. I'm hearing Karmic Justice. This was this had nothing to do with your sun seeds. This is your true love. This person is, is your I'm hearing now. Your true love is already part of your life. This love is emotionally, physically, and condition unconditionally. This had nothing to do with you. This had everything to do with this other person. Okay? The codependency, the addictions, third parties, um, whatever addictions that was to them, holding on to people that no longer could serve them. Okay? Um, use um any type of substance abuse trying to numb the pain, okay? Overdoing a control. It was some type of lesson that they had to learn that they was in denial about. Somebody had to go back to the drawing board. And with that page of cups and nine of pentacles, it let me know because pages are, or, you know, pages are child or just like that childlike spirit, you know? But for the page of cups and the nine of pentacles, how I'm picking up on it, somebody had to go back to their child. Somebody had to go back to when he was a very young kid, okay? And he had to do this by themselves. Because whoever that, that, that inner child was in them, that inner child didn't feel safe. And being at that, being, because of that inner child didn't feel safe, they went around doing stuff to people that didn't mean them, you know, any harm. You, you didn't mean this person any harm, so see, you was good to this person. You didn't deserve what this person did to you. But it was something about this person. They had to go back to the. They had to heal some traumas. They did. Okay. They had to heal some heal some traumas. Go back to that inner child. Make that. Let that inner child know how 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 they're gonna protect them now. How how they're safe now. Yeah. So yeah, they had to go back and rescue that inner child. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. This person loves you. It's something about this person you didn't know. And it affected them. They may come and show up one way, but it was something about this person's childhood. And they had to go and heal that. Give me some hope for the spirit. Queen of Cups. Emperor. Something that can be with being in regards to a mother or a father. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Aries energy. Somebody had to go back and nurture that child in them. Ten of Wands. So they can release a burden. But something was weighing too heavy on this person. And it was stopping them to, you know, having this life with you, having this beautiful life with you. Yeah, three of cups. Celebrating, you know, living their best of life. It was something that was done when this person was at a very young age that, that prevented them from having true love or even experiencing true love. They had to drop that burden. So they could celebrate. This person was in denial about it. But it's something about them with the Queen of Cups. They had to go back and nurture. And my nose itcher. Whatever spiritual lesson there was, they had to learn. This person wants to gain your trust back. And this person, whoever this person is, they are so afraid. They don't know how to come at you. That's why they ask some people, other people for, um, you know, support. Yeah, Four Cups with the King of Swords. Some of them feel like you're going to just be so cold. Like so cold and detached from them. This person regrets it. Give me some more spirit. 
This is a very emotional person. I don't know if they hid that from you. They probably did. Yeah, the magician. Yeah, with the moon card. Yeah. With the will of fortune. Something is changing. Whatever secrets that this person kept from you, from their past, is changing. Okay? Something is changing. And I feel like this person had to go back to, they was a very young child. What did I say? This person had to go to that little child and tell that little child, make that little child feel safe and, how, and let this little child know how they're going to protect them now. It's something that was way bigger than you, Sunsea. It was bigger than you, which you probably can't even possibly understand. Maybe you probably will get some type of um, understanding by watching this video. But this person, something happened to them when they was a child. Maybe by somebody, maybe by a mother or someone who raised them. Okay. Yeah. But this person, this person wants the Ten of Cups with you. They see you as the happiness. Yes, they do. They see you as the Empress. Also, for some of you guys, this person was hurt by their mother. They was betrayed by their mother. Thank you, spirit. Um, for some of you guys, this person was betrayed by their mother at a very young age. So when it came to women or men, because we did see the emperor take a high resonate. Okay. This person um, treated women and men how their mother and their father treated them. If they was abandoned, they were abandoned people. If they mother or their father was in and out of their life, they would be in and out of people's life. It was something that was done to them at a very young age. And I'm hearing it hindered their growth. Somebody didn't get to experience happy and healthy connections because of this. The temperance and page of, um, page of cups. Yeah. This person had a spirit guide that always was protected them since they was a very young child. Very young child. They always had a spirit guide next to them. Even though this person went through all of this, okay, this person had a spirit guide that was protecting them. Always. This person was always protected. Yeah, this person had a lot of... Yeah, this person had a lot. This person um, did, just did a lot. This could be somebody who's into, you know, was into, you know, having third parties, one night stands, not respecting their body, just, just not giving a hell. Not, don't even care. This person didn't even love themselves. And of course, you, you know, we know anybody that that um, don't honor and respect their temple, which is your body, that right there should tell you a lot about a person. But just, you know, for this case right here, um, this is somebody that um, definitely changed. The will of fortune, something changed in this person. Okay, this is somebody that's tired of manipulating situations. This is somebody that's tired of have, living in secret, living in fear. Okay? This is somebody that's tired of living, a, you know, a secret life. The magician and the moon card, the will of fortune, something is changing. I feel like all the manipulation that this person has did, they don't want to do that anymore. Somebody wants real, they want true, they want authentic. And somebody know they caused this. Yeah, two of wands. Somebody want, yeah. Now somebody want to make better decisions. They do. Could be a Virgo or Capricorn. Don't have to be. We have Cancer out here. We have Libra, Taurus out here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius. But somebody was betrayed at a very young age. And it, 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 it passed over in the adult life. For a lot of you guys, Sunseeds, you guys were betrayed at just, you guys was, um, cause we see a twin flame. So a lot of you guys, this can be a twin flame or how level so me. A lot of you guys were betrayed just like this person as well. But you didn't go around projecting that onto others. Okay? I feel like you guys poured your love into this person and it scared this person. And study this person precipitating that and accepting that, this person found a way to try to ruin things because it said on a card, deny you. Okay? Somebody was in denial. They detached from you. 
okay? They pulled away from you because it, it, it's something about your, your your love language that whatever whatever demon that was in them, it made them automatically reject you immediately. It wasn't you. But it's something about your love language, the way how you love on others, whatever that was deep-rooted in them since a child, it immediately made this person reject you and act out the way they did. Ace of Swords, Spirit said that's the damn truth. Spirit said that's the damn truth. Mm. Spirit, give me a card on the Magician in the Moon. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit, the Magician in the Moon. The Magician in the Moon. Nine of Cups. The Lovers. Whatever addiction that this person had is definitely um because with the magician in the moon, you see how this woman is on this card? Her legs crossed, hands crossed. She looks so pure, right? So innocent. It's like whoever this person is, I feel like they they, they made people think that everything was just okay. Okay? Whoever your person is. This person will show up one way, but when they get home, when they get by themselves, they'll feel a whole nother type of way. They will. They would. Whoever your person is, you when you met this person, you would have never thought this person was going to show their ass the way they did. You, you heard that horn? That's confirmation. You never thought this person was going to show their ass the way they did. With the magician in the moon, clear, with the clarify with the nine of cups, you feel like this person tricked you. This person had a lot of secrets. But something is changing in this person. And I feel like um, what's changing in this person is healing. This person now can finally heal. Give me a card with the way of fortune, Holy Spirit. This was somebody that didn't like change. They did it. Queen of Swords. That's the truth. Then it can heal. Somebody is, is being is now willing to accept the truth. They are. Yeah. The strength card, ace of cups, the emperor. Cause somebody wants somebody yeah. This person is strong. Now somebody when this person heals, okay, and actually when I say heal and, um, and stand in their strength, it's going to be in a, in, a, in a good way. It's not going to be ego. It's not going to be pride. It's not being guarded towards the wrong energies. This is someone that's accepted all the challenges that they've been through in life and knowing that it's okay to heal. It's okay to not be okay. And Ace of Cups, the Emperor. With this wedding and this reconciliation, whoever your divine counterpart is, I see you guys living happily ever after. Page of Swords. I feel like this person studied you enough. They feel like they know you. <laughs> There's somebody that watches you. I feel like whatever information that they gather up on you, they talk into their family or whoever their support system is. And the way how that, that, that young lady is, because you know there's no Jen and Taro, your young lady, young man, whoever, the way how this person is looking up at this person, it's like, I trust you. Somebody, whoever this a person is, this could be somebody's mother telling this person, go, I'm giving you to go. Yes, yes, do it, do it. It's going to be a success and victory, it is. Page of Wands. Message this person. Make, be bold. Make the first move. <laughs> That's all right. This person with the hermit and the Six of Wands, I feel like this person watches you. Um, watches you in secret by themselves. And it hurts this person, you know, because this person wants to be with you. Mm. 
the seven of swords and the eye frame. What is that about? The seven of swords can also mean that um, somebody is withholding information about you. Maybe um, maybe you found with the release and the interference, thank you, spirit. Maybe you found out about a third party and you released this person. Because you, you, you see this, you, you could feel like you see this person as someone who's sneaky. They could have just told you what was going on. But this is the reason why I spirit is saying this person went around hurting people. But just so happened they ran into... <laughs> You were just too different. You made them. They couldn't. They couldn't. They couldn't fight this. True love here and now. They couldn't fight this. The magician, the moon card, and the wheel of fortune. Mm -mm. Something had to change. Spirit knocked this person down on their boots. Okay. Yeah, make a wise decision. Who you gonna choose? That's what spirit is saying. Who you gonna choose? You gonna choose the light or you gonna choose the dark? And for a long time, this person chose the dark. But I feel like with the with the dark, that was fear. Cause you know the man downstairs. What is the man downstairs? Fear, illusions, denial, lies. Somebody chose that for a long time, but it was out of fear. Yeah, nine of wands. It was out of fear. This person been through a lot, hell and hot water. But with the star card, they was being forced to heal. Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus energy out here. Leo out here. Um, Aries out here. Virgo out here. Gemini out here. Yeah, but this person was had to go with an inhale. And it had nothing to do with you. When this person come at all of this, this person gonna be a star. Watch. They are. They're gonna be a star. Give me a card on them. Um when they come up out of this, this person gonna be able to heal other people. Give me a card, the star the not a one. They are. There's something special about this person. King of Wands. Yeah, they're gonna be able to take. This person wants to take action. Once, I'm telling you, once they heal and whatever they're going through, yeah, they can take action. They can take action and come towards you. Give me another card on the King of Wands. Six of Wands. I'm telling you, they're going to come out successful as hell. They're going to, this person, whatever, I don't, I'm. Whatever this person been through, was they, this person went through some shit. Okay, I'm just going to be honest with you. But they went around projecting that energy onto others. Was it fair? Hell no, Sunseeds. You found out about a third party. You decided to walk away. You ain't even probably know none of this stuff was going on with this person at all. But Spirit is saying this is what it is. With the star card nine of wands, once this person healed, they come out. They're going to be a beast. They're going to be a beast. I'm telling you. They're going to they gonna show up in this relationship. They're they, they going to show up. <laughs> they're going to show up for you. I'm telling you. Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, they're going to show up. The Star card? Hmm. Yeah, they're coming back to heal the situation with you. And it's going to be equal give and take. Okay? Because they see you as they wish fulfillment. But it's different this time. And this person feel like they could be their true authentic self. They don't have to mask, you know, mask something anymore. Okay? This is your divine counterpart. King to the queen. Yeah. The chariot. This person's going to come towards you. But something that... <clears throat> something about this connection that's very, very divine. Okay? I'm hearing very, very divine. Okay? And spirit wanted this person to work on themselves. I heard earlier this person is being used as a vessel by God. Okay? So it's something about your person that once they done with whatever they're going through, the person going to have a mean behind testimony. Spirit is using this person. This person might be going through some things right now. Um, and they feel alone because this person is used to having your, your support. But being that you found out about that third party, when we see interference and release, it causes you to walk away. 
you ain't want to deal with this person no more. But something is changing. And it's happened quick. Um, let me ask Spirit. Let's get it on. What is that? Oh, what else? What else is my son sees? No, Holy Spirit. What else is my son sees? No. Okay. Let's see what else should my son sees? No. Okay. Yeah. So, I wanted to come out sideways. So whatever secrets this person had, yeah, this person is moving, moving away from these secrets. Okay, somebody is now actually listening to the guys, listening, listening to the guys. Yeah, move away from the secrets. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the upright. This high priest is in six of wands. Somebody is listening to the guys. Even though the car high priest is in six of wands, six of swords. I'm sorry, I said six of wands. Somebody, this person is going to have a success. I'm telling you, this empress is going to be mm, a beast. Somebody else is going to be heard of, going to be heard about it. I'm also getting, thank you, spirit. Whoever this emperor is, the reason why she is this empress is because, you know, um, empress, emperor, whoever they, whoever they are, this person did the work on themselves. See how hard working this person is? Doing the work, building themselves up, okay? From being in a place of being hurt for so long, made them unbalanced in some type of way. They no longer gonna be looking back to the people who hurted them, okay? People that betrayed them, made them cry who talk behind their back. Once this person is done here, they don't give a hell what a person got to say. This person know who they want. This person, is, I heard earlier, listen, actually listening to their guys now. So whoever your person is, your person is very intuitive, okay? I believe you are too. But you and your person is, thank you, spirits. I heard now this person actually is gonna be listening to their spirit guide. Somebody actually open to the help now. Eight of Wands. Something is going to come in quick. Okay? Some type of message, email, text message, call, or something. Something is being shown to this person online. Yeah. Spirit, what's the eight of wands? What's the eight of wands? Hold on, Spirit. Please and thank you. Ooh, what is that? The tower. Something is gonna happen abruptly. What's the uh, what's the eight of wands in the tower? Thank you, spirit. Judgment. Somebody's gonna be receiving some type of yeah, seven of pentacles. Yeah, but with the star card, star card, lovers, the emperor, five of wands. Ooh. Okay, so this person know that they got to get it together. They do, okay? Because something has happened abruptly. Whatever seeds they have sown is coming back, okay? It's coming back. Okay, spirit is definitely blowing a horn, okay? It's like time is ticking, time is ticking, okay? Somebody's also realizing the people that was close to them was the ones talking the most shit and trying to keep two two divine counterparts away from each other. The emperor, the empress with the five of wands. Okay, the star card, the lovers. Okay, and you know, and we seen the five of swords. You know, some seeds, let's keep it real. That's just how we go. You gonna have some people that's gonna be rooting for this connection. And then you gonna have some people that's gonna be jealous of this connection. Okay, either way, you got two people that only got eyes for each other. They don't care, okay? I feel like this emperor's been listening to her guides. Now it's whoever this emperor is, now they're gonna start listening to the guides. Okay? Like I said, it's some people that's rooting for this emperor to come towards you. And this and this person definitely got people in they um in they circle that's not rooting for this person to come to you. I feel like with this high priestess being here too, you can be a psychic or just very intuitive. It's something about you that's very different, very mysterious. And this person, um, um 
people just don't agree with it. Okay? They don't agree with it. But with the um, the tower and the judgment, something is definitely happening. And with the eight of wands, you want to be able to, you want to receive some type of message. You want to receive some type of message or something. Um, could be some type of message about a, um, a loved one. But somebody is under judgment. Somebody sold some bad seeds. Somebody is reaping what they sow. Yeah. Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles. What's the Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Holy Spirit? Six of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Six of Wands. King of Wands. What's this type of sword? What's this type of sword? Somebody could have went and, and tried to pay his um, arm. Give me a card of this type of sword for this period. What's this type of sword? Page of swords. Five of pentacles. Somebody want to come out of the cold. Somebody who was being sneaky with. Who you found out about a third party situation with. And it caused you to let them go. This person watches you. They want to come out the cold. Okay. And now this person want to come in and give you equal give and take with the nine of cups. They see you as they wish you feel me. Okay. I, I feel like before they, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't feel like they was, they didn't see it like this. They didn't see it like this. Somebody didn't, somebody didn't see your true value. I feel like this person could have been low vibration in the past, but this is somebody that's trying to go within and heal. Okay, somebody is learning something, and they could be learning something about whoever these um, you know, maybe it's three people that they was consulting in. Um, maybe one person was rooting for them, you know, to come towards you and make it right, and then the other two could have been definitely talking shit. But with the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups, somebody who's very passionate about you is coming towards you. Yeah, they want to make things fair. Give me another card on the Seven of Swords. Page of Wands. Page of Cups. This person want to message you and apologize. Somebody could have did something. Uh, mm. <sighs> Somebody could have been uh, could have did something at a spike and be um, did something being. Something was very immature. Somebody did something. Okay. Yeah, eight of swords. Now they ain't head about. They hit about it. Why didn't they hit about the Holy Spirit? Because something had ended. Somebody did something very spiteful. It was immature. They played a lot of games. Okay, and it caused a cycle to end. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so you can't make it up. The death card it caused the cycle to end. Somebody did something real childish, very immature. Somebody also could have. Give me a card on the Three of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away. If somebody went to go see a practitioner to, to do something to any one of these divine counterparts, I'm sure they're not. Ace of Pentacles. Whoever this chosen one is, I'm sure they're not. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. I'm sure they're feeling it now. Ace of Swords. Spirit said that's the damn truth. Because, oh, they didn't see that whatever illusion that they were trying to put out, how it was going to backfire. Because this person's still going to be successful in whatever they do for work. Somebody could have definitely been trying to affect your work. But with the King of Wands and the Sun card, somebody's still going to be happy. Somebody's still going to take action and move forward. Somebody else is going to be hurt. Three of Swords with the Seven of Pentacles. Because whatever you, um, whatever you sow, you reap. And somebody heard about that. Because they could have did something just being in it. To being real quick, King Cups, being immature in their feelings and their emotions. This is somebody that did did something that was that wasn't nice. It was not nice. He did something off emotion. And now they under judgment. 